Hello guys, this is Modish Major here, bringing you some commentary over some Haven Infinity Doubles gameplay. Uh, the score in the background is a 26 and 0, where this is probably one of the fastest doubles gameplays I've ever got. And the video has actually been split into two gameplays because the first one was just too short. Uh, so I also included a oddball honeycomb gameplay. Both games have been played with Lurker Zero. You guys should know Lurker Zero by now. He's an excellent commentator, probably my favorite in the entire Halo community as of right now. So I advise you guys go subscribe to him, and his link will be in the description. Uh, this was a pretty strong gameplay on my part. I managed to get fairly lucky with the ordinances. Uh, the enemy players were just entirely inexperienced with the matchup. Uh, they didn't really know how to mix up their approaches in terms of how they'd advance to top middle. When you've got top middle, it can be kind of tricky, especially against a team whose aim is on point and their teamwork is on point. Uh, Lurk is really good at assisting in those sort of situations and putting shots on people you need him to. Uh, so they, they just couldn't really find an angle. Uh, personally, what I would have done in this situation is I would have tried to take shots from the windows. Uh, for example, maybe jump up the shoulders um, but I just don't think these guys knew about those sort of routes and they were pushing from blue corner pushing from red corner and they weren't uh, waiting for their teammate to spawn they would just run in a straight line towards top center and it wasn't the best of ideas and it, although it might seem like these players were the pinnacle of terrible players it's not something I frown upon and it's not something I look down on because to be quite honest they stayed in here for the entire game length and that's more than I can say of a lot of players you know I see high level players backing out pre-game lobby who even look better than us on paper but they're worried that their KD could take a hit they're worried that the the competition might be too fierce and they just want an easy ride uh, and I think one of the things that really frustrates me about these games is that in matchmaking experiences for the developers, they always make it an issue of how can we punish the players who don't play the game correctly? How can we punish the betrayers? How can we punish the quitters? Whereas they never think of how can we compensate the people who are putting their all into matchmaking, who are staying in the games that they should have left a long time ago. I mean, I really, I really do respect this mindset of, you know, if, if we can't beat them, maybe we can learn some things by just staying in the game. Maybe we can learn... Uh, how to improve and then in the next matchmaking game when we come across maybe a slightly less skillful player We'll know how to play them uh, to the best of our abilities um, I think what this current generation of gaming has taught me more so than any other is that gamers will go to absurd lengths to accomplish any sort of goal you give them. If you dangle a carrot in front of a gamer, he would jump off a cliff to reach it. I've been guilty of this myself in the past with achievements, hunting for achievement score. I killed 55,000 something, something, something zombies in Left 4 Dead. I don't even know why. I wasn't enjoying myself. I just wanted those little points to pop up and to say, hey, Good job, Modest Major. And if you incorporate this into the matchmaking experience, I think this will be a hundred times effective than dishing out punishment. Punishment, are all I feel that happens when you, you incorporate these sort of like, these taxes for uh, betraying, for leaving lobbies, etc., is people find out exactly how much they can get away with before they get punished. And even then, I feel like some people have this anti establishmentarianism shit where they're like, oh, you know what? I'm going to do it anyway because I hate this guy, hashtag lol betrayal, or, you know, when it comes to quitting, I feel like people are so invested in the games at the time and they're so emotionally involved that they just completely throw the punishment out the window. They can take a punishment, to be honest, they probably want to leave the game anyway. They're like, you know what, if I get banned for a couple of games, I'm pissed anyway, so I might as well sit it out for a couple of games, it'll probably cool me down. Whereas it comes to a warp rewards, where it comes to this matter of if you achieve X amount of like, uh, you don't exceed this limitation of betrayals by the end of this month and you don't leave this many games uh, and you unlock this armor preset, you unlock this weapon skin, you unlock this blah 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 for helping out the community for being a better member of the community uh, maybe you could have it where it's like you know it comes into like power weapons where it comes into communication putting your mic in in game you get these rewards and these benefits i feel like gamers would work so much harder if you look at halo reach people say that the punishments were way 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 harsher in halo reach than they were in halo 4 even then i feel like the amount of quitters is absolutely ridiculous i come on halo reach and if i'm better than that enemy team if i'm noticeably better they will be quitting i just don't think punishment's going to cut it in this day and age and I feel like people definitely will think to themselves how much can I get away with where did they draw on the line how close can I go to it and they play with fire and they're cheeky about it and it's something that really frustrates me and when you see lobbies like these two that I've just shown you where these people are working really hard to no avail it just feels like they're sitting in the game 
They're waiting it out. They're trying their best. And they're going to think at the end of this game, well, what's the point in even showing up next time? What's the point in even waiting? Win or lose, leave or stay, it's still the same outcome. And I'd rather just get out whilst the getting is good. Anyway, I've been Modest Major. Hope you guys enjoyed the calm. Peace out.